So there's a lot of different little side benefits that aren't really in the main package of the monthly payment. So that it can include CHAMP VA healthcare eligibility for your spouse and dependent children. That's huge. That's a big deal. Going along with that, DEA benefits, just called it's for dependents education assist educational assistance. Yeah. So those benefits are available to your dependents for financial support when they go to college. I believe it also assists maybe with vocational training as well. I believe it does. For dependents. Mm-hmm. So that's huge. It's not only those aren't it's not just benefits for you, but it also directly benefits your family as well. Because we know that veterans' disabilities do affect their entire families and not just them in isolation. Another I would say is permanent and total. Right. The VA can determine that your 100% service connection is permanent and total. And what that means is they're not going to be evaluating you in the future. So you're not going to be in five years brought in for a CMP exam where they try to determine whether your lumbar spine condition is any better than it was the last time they evaluated or your mental health symptoms have not changed since your last evaluation. And that's a huge deal, especially after veterans are finally awarded the 100%, the last thing they want want to to know is that they're going to have to go back to a CMP, right? Right. Do I have to do another CMP? That's the big question. One caveat to that would be that once you get to that point and the permanent and total is established, if you initiate another claim at the regional office, if you file for something that could trigger a CMP or an exam of some sort, that there's potential there that you might have an evaluation of your condition that's permanent and total. So just a note there. Another thing that kind of opens the door or that 100% opens the door to is some types of special monthly compensation. So special monthly compensation or SMC is exactly what it sounds like. It's additional monthly compensation that's added on to your disability payment. So there are certain types that you have to have certain ratings for. For example, for SMCS, that is if you are rated 100%, for one condition, and you have other service-connected conditions that add up to 60% by themselves, you're eligible for a little additional money for that, basically via recognizing, okay, you're, you have already have a severe disability at 100%. Right. You also have these disabilities. We'll give you a little more money. There are a lot of different benefits that come with being 100% service-connected from the states, and it really varies from state to state, but you definitely want to look and you can look it up online and see what benefits the state provides for 100% service-connected veterans. A lot of accounts with a DMV, mm-hmm. a lot of like hunting license, fishing Mm -hmm. license, things like that. In some states, there are property tax exemptions for Mm -hmm. veterans. And some of these can be really helpful. So definitely should look into that. I know in Florida, you get 100%, you get that disabled veteran license plate, which is a big deal, lets you get around places. Right. And I know as well, you can also be entitled to certain commissary privileges, base privileges, even if you're not active duty anymore, if you're rated at 100%. There's also a benefit as well. If you look forward, if you're 100 per- rated 100% for a condition eight years, for at least eight years prior to your passing, and you have been married to your spouse for at least eight years prior to your passing, your spouse will be entitled to IC benefits, which is for surviving spouses or dependent children of veterans who pass away. You can be eligible for that in, for a couple, in a couple different ways, but if you've been rated 100% and married for eight years prior to your passing, there's no questions asked. So you don't have to establish that it's related to the cause of death or anything at that point, and that's huge. Yeah, because you can get these DIC benefits if the cause of death was related to service, but oftentimes if that cause of death wasn't service-connected before we're on an uphill battle. It's not impossible, but it takes a lot longer to get the widows and the dependents the compensation that they deserve. So a hundred percent, really nice. That's a nice way to just take a little bit off your mind. Absolutely. (laughs)